Welcome back to Sports. Zach is on assignment this evening. Former Minot State football player Sebastian Gutierrez signed with the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs Thursday. ESPN reported the transaction and Gutierrez confirmed the news on his personal social media channels. After stops in Denver and New England camps, Gutierrez dressed for one game with the Las Vegas Raiders in the 2022 season. The offensive lineman played two snaps on special teams in the game. The Raiders waived Gutierrez on May 2nd. Over the weekend, Gutierrez tried out at Kansas City's rookie minicamp and the team signed him. Gutierrez will now participate in the Chiefs' organized act team activities and their minicamp. Congratulations to him. Last night, the Minot High baseball team split a doubleheader with St. Mary's and WDA counter games. With four games remaining, that may take the Magi out of contention for the top seed, but it saves them from the playing games. Minot's final four games are doubleheaders against winless Watford City and second place Legacy, the only two teams Minot has yet to play. The games against Watford are this Saturday in Minot, the final home games of the season. The Magi could move up the tournament seating with at least one win at Legacy on Monday. Jamestown, the top team, is the only team in the region Minot hasn't beaten. The Blue Jays swept the Magi in Minot back in mid-April. Not all teams have played the same number of games, though, thanks to a handful of rainouts last night. This year's region tournament is in Jamestown from May 25th to the 27th. Twins shortstop Kyle Farmer has been activated off the injured list. The team announcing this morning Farmer missed 25 games to recover after he took a 92 mile an hour pitch to the face in April. The team said he needed 35 stitches and four root canals. The Twins continued their series against the Padres tonight. First pitch is in just a few minutes. This afternoon, the NSIC baseball tournament began in Bismarck and Mandan. It's a double elimination bracket, so teams need to lose twice in order to face elimination. Defending champs and top seed Augustana narrowly avoiding an upset at the hands of eight seed Wayne State. The Wildcats hit a three run homer in the bottom of the ninth to come within one run, no closer. St. Cloud dominated Southwest Minnesota and never trailed in the other game of the afternoon session. And just moments ago, Minot State and Crookston threw the first pitch. We'll have the highlights from Bismarck tonight on First News at 10. And we'll have a final look at weather right after this break.